Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given one differential amplifier and we have been given that the common mode rejection ratio or the CMRR of this amplifier is equal to 100. Now the two different sets of input signals are applied to this differential amplifier. So here, we have been asked to find the percentage difference in the output voltage which is obtained for the two sets of input signal. So if you know about the differential amplifier, then the output of the differential amplifier can be given as these AD times VD plus AC times VC, where these VD is the differential input signal and the VC is the common mode input signal. Now the ideal differential amplifier only amplifies the differential input signal and it completely rejects the common mode input signal. That means for the ideal differential amplifier, this common mode gain should be equal to zero. And therefore, for the ideal differential amplifier, this common mode rejection ratio or this CMRR should be equal to infinite because this CMRR can be given as this differential gain divided by the common mode gain. But if we consider the actual differential amplifier, then for this actual differential amplifier, this common mode gain is non-zero. That means it also amplifies this common mode input signal by some amount. And therefore, for this actual differential amplifier, this CMRR is finite. So here we have been given that for the given differential amplifier, this CMRR is equal to 100. And here the two sets of input signals are applied to this differential amplifier. So first of all, we can represent these two input signals as a combination of the differential and the common mode input signal. So here this V1 can be represented as this V1 plus V2 divided by 2 plus this V1 minus V2 divided by 2. Similarly, this voltage V2 can be represented as this V2 minus V1 divided by 2 plus this V1 plus V2 divided by 2. So here, this V1 plus V2 divided by 2 is the common mode component in both input signals. Well, this is the differential input component. So let's say this is VID1 and this is VID2. That means here this differential input component is equal to this VID1 minus VID2. That is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 2 minus this V2 minus V1 divided by 2. That is equal to V1 minus V2. While the common mode component or this VCM is equal to V1 plus V2 divided by 2. So in this way, we can represent these two input signals as a combination of the differential as well as the common mode input signal. So with the help of it, we can find the output voltage of this differential amplifier for the two sets of input signal. So first of all, let us find the output voltage for the first set of input signal. So for the first set, this V1 is equal to 50 microvolt, while the V2 is equal to minus 50 microvolt. That means here, this differential component is equal to V1 minus V2 that is equal to 100 microvolt. While if you see the common mode component or the VCM, then it is equal to V1 plus V2 divided by 2 that is equal to 0. That means for this first set of input signals, this common mode component is 0 while the differential component is equal to 100 microvolt. So now, this output voltage V out can be given as this AD times VT plus AC times VCM. So if we just take out this AD common, then this V out is equal to AD times this VD plus this AC divided by AD times VCM. Now as we know, this common mode rejection ratio can be given as this AD divided by AC or it is the ratio of the differential gain to the common mode gain. That means this output voltage V out can be written as this AD times this VD plus 1 divided by this CMRR times VCM. So in this expression, let us put the value of this VD and the VCM. So for this first set of input signal, this VD is equal to 100 microvolt while the VCM is equal to 0. That means this output voltage V out is equal to 80 times this 100 microvolt plus 
1 divided by CMRR times 0 or we can say that it is equal to 100 times AD microvolt and let's say this is the output voltage VO1 that means for this first set of input signals this output voltage VO1 is equal to 100 times AD microvolt similarly now let us find the output voltage for the second set of input signals so in the second set this V1 is equal to 1050 microvolt while the V2 is equal to 950 microvolt that means for these two input signals if you see the differential signal VD then it is equal to 1050 minus 950 that is equal to 100 microvolt while if you see the common mode signal or the VCM then it is equal to 1050 plus 950 divided by 2 that is equal to 1000 microvolt so these are the differential and the common mode input signal for the second set of input signal so now this output voltage VO2 can be given as this AD times VD plus AC times VCM or in other words this AD times this VD plus AC divided by AD times VCM that is equal to AD times this VD plus 1 divided by CMRR times VCM that means VO2 is equal to this AD times this 100 microvolt plus 1 divided by 100 times 1000 which is equal to 110 times AD microvolt that means for the second set of input signal this output voltage VO2 is equal to 110 times AD microvolt that means here this VO1 is equal to 100 times AD microvolt and this VO2 is equal to 110 times AD microvolt so if you see the percentage difference in the output voltage then it is equal to this VO2 minus VO1 divided by VO1 times 100 which is equal to this 110 times AD minus 100 times AD divided by this 100 times AD times 100 so here this AD is common so it will get cancelled out and if you calculate then it will come out as 10% that means the percentage difference in the output voltage is equal to 10% so what it signifies so it signifies that when the common mode rejection ratio is 100 then as the common mode input signal increases then it will also get reflected in the output voltage so in the first set of input signal if you see then the common mode signal was 0 and in the second set of input signal the common mode signal was 1000 microvolt so as this common mode input signal increases then the output voltage V out will also increase now for the good differential amplifier this common mode signal should not affect the output voltage that means for the good differential amplifier this CMRR should be very high so instead of 100 if the common mode rejection ratio of the differential amplifier is equal to 10 to the power 4 then for the same set of input signals if you calculate the percentage change in the output then it will be equal to 0.01% that means even if the common mode input signal increases then it will impact the output voltage by only 0.01% that means for a good differential amplifier this CMRR should be as high as possible but anyway for the given question this D is the correct answer.